Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Karen, for your, for your kind words. And um, also I have to thank my incredible mentor in this process, Ralph Hammond. <laughs> he said at the beginning of this, we raised this money for this really important project in the Dominican Republic. Um, we started raising, he said, you can do it under the old grant system. I said, but there's only like six, seven months left to you know, do the raising. And he said, don't worry about it, you do it, you do it, you do it. Well, Ralph, it happened. And Roy, too, for, for all, the, all the mentoring in this process. So um, um, I'm a uh, relatively uh, newcomer to Rotary. And after joining the new Neshoba Valley Club, I committed myself as a champion for the We're One Mobile Dental Clinic project um, that's in the Dominican Republic. My late wife, Anita, who succumbed to cancer in 2009, inspired me. So, uh, Sandra, um, your efforts with that project are just incredible, I, I, know, from the, I know from the heart. This project, um, just starting implementation, sends a dentist's office on wheels to the children of the Dominican Republic who have never had uh, regular dental care. Um, and uh, Roy talked earlier today about the six areas of focus. Uh, this project addresses two of those, fighting disease and saving mothers and children. And imagine um, you are a parent unable to provide health care for your child. Lack of dental hygiene and untreated cavities uh, can send infection into the hearts, uh, hearts, lungs, and brains. Um, I've seen these children there. Um, talk about uh, soon about um, a, a mission we had, a kind of a pre-mission uh, for this project from Duff's Dental Clinic, and I saw some of these children that were suffering. Uh, this is uh, so this type of disease, uh, dental disease. This is real and happening every day to the poor children in the Dominican Republic. So. Why help so far away? We are all connected on this planet, and what happens there affects you and your family here. We can affect the other people here that don't yet know, who don't get this, by sharing our projects with them. This, my fellow Rotarians, is the personal value connection in this project, and other projects like we've heard here today. If we can make this connection with projects like We Are One, we can ensure that the Foundation can continue doing good in the world. For the We Are One project, this meant that we raised $18,000 and the Foundation and District matched $30,000. This provided a budget of $50,000 along with donations of the Sponsor Club and District in the Dominican Republic. This, my friends, is what we call amplification. Um, and in that $18,000, I might say, that represented 16 clubs, 12 of which were in District 7910, and uh, another four clubs that were in Pennsylvania and uh, Connecticut. So let me tell you how the We Are One project brought the Rotary Foundation's personal value connection back to the Shoba Valley, and the 16 uh, supporting partner clubs that we interacted with in the projects, and uh, to our other partners. Uh, yes, it does take a champion to get a global project going. I made several trips to the Dominican Republic and forged partnerships with Rotarian Dr. Franz Compere of Soda Desca Medical Clinic and Juan Domingo Reyes, a young Rotarian in the Santo Domingo area. The Tufts Dental School also joined uh, to give their students experience in developing countries and to see what it's like in the other part of the developing world. For the champion to champion, the enrollment of the club was essential. I shared my experience of the dental health needs of, of poor children and how people, as I saw on these trips and the people I knew, living in poverty or near poverty, still find happiness living with so much less than we live with here in the plenty of the United States. This resonated with my Rotary Club. How did Neshoba Valley, a brand new club, stewarded by uh, uh, Karen and uh, our founder, Ron Bott, and our current president, um, Laura Spear, how did a new club uh, like this pull off its first major international project? Well, it was passion, commitment, and empathy for the Dominican children who have so much less than our children, but find that happiness every day in life. They pitched in to make this uh, project succeed. 
So here are some examples from the Neshoba Club, and I hope this uh, maybe sends some uh, inspiration to other clubs that might be thinking of an uh, uh, international project. Natasha Finnerty, right off from the start, she's our club member, one of our club members, Natasha on her own initiative and with her own money placed an advertisement in the Mass Dental newsletter asking for dental equipment. Wow, six retiring dentists um, donated their entire office and other dentists followed. We had all the equipment, it didn't cost a dime. Um, last January, Natasha and her son, Connor, visited with Dr. Cohn Prayer in the Dominican Republic and experienced firsthand the needs of the community. She spoke with the women. She familiarized herself with the project. And then she brought this experience back to the club and voila, there were two people that now had firsthand experience with the project. This was my goal, to get other people involved and see it, and see it firsthand. And that spread the enthusiasm better uh, to make this project a success. That's all that was important. Karen Gaffney, right here to my, uh, to my right, your left. Um, I was new to Rotary and did not have the personal connections to set up the visits uh, to present this project uh, and asking for a participation. Ralph said, yeah, it would be easy. <laughs> but without Karen, it wouldn't have been, wouldn't really been so easy. Um, with an unlimited supply, of energy and follow-throughness, which I just can't imagine. She's incredible. Karen set up over 35 speaking engagements and then followed up to ask for the donation. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. Sorry, da guys, I had to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dana Gray, uh, uh, past president, uh, past president husband, uh, without hesitation, donated his time, truck, and strong back to pick up the dental chairs, equipment, and supplies all over the state. Um, Laura Spear, a um, uh, guru in public relations, um, helped us uh, tone and make the marketing materials that were clear. And these marketing materials that we used to send out to clubs, send out potential partners were really clear. And, we, and, and she really helped make these to be on point and to her audience. And even her husband, uh, Chris Spear, did all the printing in color, thanks to um, his wonderful co uh, company. Um, Mary and Rich Garcia, our club members, uh, took and ran with the idea of getting local dentists involved for donations and raised almost $2,000. Mary published the We Are One newsletter, keeping prospective and committed partners up to date. Ron Bott took the lead in the financial task of tra tracking donations and uh, submitting uh, donor forms to the foundation. Um, one of our new members, uh, Fatima Sarah, and also my girlfriend, uh, became the third person in the club to experience the need firsthand. She collected supplies from churches and uh, was the appointments coordinator and interpreter for this past August of uh, the uh, Tufts Dental School mission to the DR. On that trip, she was touched by how a mother and her children walked to the Soda Desca clinic, where the clinic was operating, <coughs> spent the entire day waiting, couldn't see the dentist, only to come back the next day with her children again to receive the care for her children. Many of our club members and their families also donated directly to the project, bringing us closer to our financial goal. Outside our club, Dr. Franz uh, Comprere, um, the um, uh, director of the Soda Desca uh, clinic that will operate the vehicle, the mobile dental uh, truck, uh, visited us from the Dominican Republic last April he spread his personal message of love and care for the poor children in, in his community and uh, the need for uh, life-saving dental care. So as I went on the road uh, with, uh, with Ralph's uh, support and good words, you're going to go out there and do it, um, I spoke with, I estimate, over 700 people um, in approximately 40 clubs in the district, uh, 7910, and in other districts in Connecticut and Massachusetts, they received my presentation. As I mentioned, a uh, total of 16 clubs became donation partners. And so Rotarians really care and experience um, seeing and hearing about a uh, good Rotary Global uh, project. Tufts Dental uh, School uh, sent a professor and four dental students to our partner in the Dominican Republic and conducted this one-week clinic for Dominican people 
Uh, they saw 150 children and adults uh, during that week, and I was there with them, and uh, Spaderman was there with them as well. The Santa Domingo Rotary Club, uh, the Inner Bay Door Club, there's about seven Rotary Clubs in uh, Santa Domingo, our partner on the ground and working with Soda Desca uh, is a group of young Rotarians excited about this project and the impact on their country. I also want to mention uh, about sustainability, because this project has sustainability built into the genes of the project. We Are One is all about sustainability because of the involvement of our partners, the uh, local public schools and the community in the Dominican Republic where the clinic will operate, the local San Felipe community itself, the local Rotary Club, Santo Domingo Innovador, the partnership now being formed with the Ministry of Health um, in the country and Tufts Dental School planning continuing visits and promoting U.S. dental standards. Within our club, we are already discussing uh, follow-on projects in the Dominican Republic. Another thing I observed as uh, this project uh, started to unfold, as people from um, our club, people from Tufts, uh, visited uh, the people in the Dominican Republic and made that first-hand connection, eating dinner, uh, being with them um, at all times of the day, was, the, was that personal connection. And really, this is what I find that Rotary is all about. This is creating world, world peace. This is bringing two cultures together to find a medium in which we can work together to uh, do better, to do good in the world. So summing up, by making the project a club project, the power of many amplifies and spreads understanding for compassion of the needs of the Dominican children, walking in their shoes. In this way, we see a personal value connection helping those in need at the same time realizing how lucky we are to live in this country. The law of the universe, this is what Rotary is all about. Give and receive. By giving just a little, you receive a lot. Thank you and all the club members uh, and partner clubs for supporting We Are One. Thank you.